Hey. I've been gone for a little bit. Um, this world is going a little crazy, right? <sighs> Between all the conspiracies about sound of freedom, a lot of respected people in the truther community are not buying that it's legit. And that it's a precursor to chipping people and all that other stuff, which we know is on the horizon. But I love, I'm going to scan through some sticks because he's always excellent and always informative. So let's see what he's saying. Five. Let's make sure that's actually the case. <laughs> Over on Rumble, of course. And probably ours do see the chat is working, and over 200 people are waiting for the stream to go live. Of course, the second I begin speaking, my co host arrives. <laughs> She's throwing shade on Dicky Dick back it's there. Cat. We've got all sorts of stuff to talk about today. Just it's trust cute. me. Sigil Stone 17, coming this Monday. Monday is Monster Jam. This is Tag. Vernon, y'all. Earth Red, start of the week, Clank, and Derek V52 says, Howdy and hail, all. Lots and lots of uh, he stuff going on chats. in the news. We'll be talking, of course, about the uh, woke of Disney version of Snow White first. Well, it looks <laughs> like um, that one dwarf image from before, I think this was last week, um, appears to be spurious although we're not 100% sure as they were doing A-B testing. Uh, we have a, a clip here that was posted the other day by End Wokeness, of course. Um, it's, it's pretty damning. I do not believe that the new Snow White is going to do particularly well. <laughs> it's one thing if you want to do feminist icon Barbie and you want to, you know, smack... Why are they redoing, like, children's stories into adult movies? It's really low IQ and really insulting for people like me. Why would I go see Snow White? I mean, come on. I heard that they're doing away with the dwarves, so the little community should be mad that they're not being represented and, um, and that they're saying that people are up, are up in arms because Snow White is black, I think. Like, don't we have bigger fish to fry in this country? Smash the patriarchy or something. Snow White is a classic kid's tale from the fucking 30s, adapted <laughs> from, I, I think, Grimm, actually, old folklore from hundreds I of can't. years before. You can't really fiddle with the central premise of the story without having some problems. We'll be talking about that. Also, Twitter is no more. It is now X. Um, I mean, people are still going to refer to it as Twitter. It's just going to have a different oh logo. And Twitter.com, I'm assuming, will still be there. Uh, right now, X.com redirects to it. Uh, so it, it is still a priority for Elon. I have some mixed feelings about the change of the logo, the change of the official name. Uh, I mean, it's fitting that he's calling it X because of Space X. And it's sort of... Uh genderless because a single chromosome is genderless and he's he's pushing a transhumanist movement i know you people love to love him but he's not doing right by us i'm telling you uh, so i'll get into that and also uh, i think that trump is actually going to go grover cleveland 2.0 I think that he definitely, I, I think he has a better than 50-50 chance of being re-elected. And I'll, uh, I'll get into that. It's a little bit of Shakespeare and a little bit of historical precedent and a little bit just understanding the way in which the bulk of the U.S. public works uh, based on its civic substructure. We'll be talking about more as well, the Spanish election and so forth. We'll get to this super chat here first. Aaron Vice, show us the cat sticks. Hold him up so we can see. This is not a he. This is a she named Farah. She does like getting picked up, though. She might squawk and squeak a little bit, but she actually enjoys She's this. Cute. She'll sit it's here in my lap cute. for hours if I let her. Sometimes I have to kick her off because, you know, it's a hot, sweaty day. And it, you know, because it's hot, the cat is shedding. And, you know, I, I'm not really the biggest super fan of that. So, yeah, that's Farah. Yana is over on the couch looking glum. Our child right now is going through what's colloquially termed toddler puberty. 
which means she screams her head off randomly, and there is no solution. There is no particular way to make her un, un uh, upset. And uh, it, it's actually mentally normal. It, it's good if they go through that phase. Apparently, at least Liz says so, and she's the expert on child development. She is interested in uh, researching that, of course. Very involved mom. Uh, apparently, if a child doesn't go through that, it can signal that there's a mental problem uh, sometimes. So, you yeah. know, she's not in her terrible twos yet, the cat can. It happens earlier than that. The terrible twos come later and are even worse. Mortgage <laughs> finance. Uh, the GOP would rather lose a major election than impeach Biden because of principles or whatever sanctimonious integrity they whine about. The Uniparty GOP? Yes. We'll see what we can do about them. Clean house, literally. Aussies robots, good morning. First Latinx, now Twitter X. Yeah, I mean, uh, it does <laughs> seem to be a little bit of an overlap there now, doesn't there? Dank Catnip, Anomaly was right about you. How dare I continue to support Orange Man, who is inevitably going to win the GOP primaries, if not the general. The Patriot Cairo, did you see Nigel Farage has been debanked, had his bank account canceled for his political views. This is the future of political persecution. Mm -hmm. I actually mentioned debanking this that. morning in uh, my video about FedNow. I believe that they are going to accelerate this, uh, this situation, unfortunately, or at least try. Eric Hecker, been getting weird trolls saying libertarians are pro-war as long as Russia is doing it. Glowing ones everywhere. No, I'm not pro-war at all. It's regrettable that Russia invaded, but um, I'm not Ukrainian. Um, there are people suffering in the United States. I think we need to get our priorities straight. Mm -hmm. And people will look back, by the way. Some of those that are most gung-ho for warmongering over there on one side or the other, they'll shut up right quick and pretend they never had those views in five years when it's another Iraq. Mm -hmm. Alan Smitty, Snow Blanco, and the Seven Baristas. Oh, Christ. Yeah, we'll get into uh, Woke uh, Snow White. Disney is making a new live adaptation mm -hmm. of Snow White, the clap. I can't even handle Disney. I always knew it was corny from a very young age. I never was into Mickey Mouse or Cinderella or any of this stupid shit that they did. I always look down upon people that wore Disney inspired apparel from instinctively from a super young age. I don't I don't know why I knew that they were a bunch of pedos. Uh, I instinctively knew that they were a bad company and that anybody who promoted them was corny. Classic 1937 uh, the adaptation by Disney was a smash hit, and uh, and the rest is history. It's one of the most popular Disney movies that was ever released. It's kind of an iconic thing. So, you know, it's Snow White and country the Seven we are. Oh, I mean the Seven Dwarfs. There is a short <laughs> Swedish cartoon out there. I'm not going to tell you where to find it. That is a pornographic cartoon adaptation of this. I think it was made back in the '60s. It was probably like a peep show short or something. <laughs> in which Snow White um, has various misadventures. So does the prince, with his horse, actually. And uh, then the uh, evil queen fucks the devil, actually, at one point. It gets sucked into hell. Come on. Interesting. So, uh, I yeah, didn't I mean, think he was going to say that. Sorry. Adaptations, but now, you know, Disney's doing another big one. It hasn't done an adaptation in almost a century of Snow White, and they're remaking it. The problem is that the uh, actresses here that play respectively Snow White and the Evil Queen uh, are insinuating that uh, Snow White's not going to be saved by the prince. She's a strong, empowered woman who don't need no man. Okay. She, in the end, they'll probably cast her off as heroic, and the prince will be like a cock. <laughs> he gets, in, in the new Disney adaptation, who knows who the prince will be, uh, the prince gets captured by oh the Evil God. Queen, and Snow White's horny. So she cuts her head Ew, off. She, stop know, it. She lead, a, lead a legion of dwarves, Ugh. Lord of the Rings style, to go and, and take the castle over. And there's flying monkeys from Wizard of Oz and shit like that. I do not see good things for this particular movie. Um, if they, no if kidding. these actresses have seen the script and know, you know, the, sort of what it's going to be about, uh, it's going to flop. It'll probably hit worse than Ghostbusters. Because the thing is, if you take, like, look at the Barbie movie, and, and I'm not going to watch it because I'm not interested in Barbie because, you know, I'm not female uh, and, and I'm heterosexual. I'm not interested in the Barbie movie. 
I'm sure that it's got its good moments. There's probably some good humor in there. It looks like, you know, as far as the uh, animation uh, goes in the movie and, and so forth, it looks okay. Uh, but it's just not down my particular aisle, not down my particular road. If you're going to make Barbie, which has been the girl power icon for decades, anti-patriarchal or something, that works. That's fine. You know your core audience. There's nothing wrong with that. How many the, the, the dudes that are going to see Barbie, the girlfriends, are forcing them to watch it? Some of them enjoy it. You know, they drink a lot of soy. With Snow White, you're talking about a classic adaptation from long before the woke period based on ancient folk tales from Germany. It's not going to work. It's sort of like when they tried to reboot Ghostbusters. Hey, let's take the basic same premise, but make it all female. And a couple of oh, God, uh, maybe, I can't. Maybe sexually, uh, you know. Are, is there a shortage of writers? No. There is no shortage. I don't understand. I mean, I do understand the machine. The machine at work to emasculate, demoralize, brainwash, propagandize. It's all like Marxist culture, cultural Marxism. And it's so insulting to those of us who free think. It's, it's almost like demoralizing from a standpoint of if you're intelligent, you're like, wow, they're like openly mocking us to the point where it's like so obvious and it makes you just want to check out of society. I can't deal with people who are so dialed in, who are talking about such inane shit. They're open, they're, they're fluid with regards to their sexuality. Well, okay, interesting concept. You shouldn't have bootstrapped it on a beloved franchise with a core cult audience that will accept nothing but the best from the movie. Uh, the same will happen, I believe, with Snow White. And then oh Disney will come out and talk about misogyny. How they racist everybody is. And yeah. they will blame racists for review bombing the movie when it inevitably falls. Because they want everybody to be polyamorous and pansexual so nobody makes kids and there's no family structure and so the government can step in and be your papa or be your mama and tell you to take your shots and here's your your money here's your you know eight hundred dollars for the month and if you don't spend it we'll take it back and you're gonna live in a 15 minute city and you're gonna be in a virtual technocratic prison and you're just gonna be so happy you're gonna be so happy falls flat rotten tomatoes will cover for their ass by <laughs> defaulting people to only uh, uh the critics reviews which will which mm -hmm. will not pan the movie unless it's absolutely fucking terrible uh there which haven't been is. many examples of major movies where that happens this may be, very well be one, but I, I have a feeling it'll be one of those movies where the critics love it because they don't dare to diss it, uh, because they don't want to get demoted or lose their jobs. Yeah. And the audience just... They don't want their social credit score to crash. So everybody's going to be like, oh my God, this is such a great movie. Do you see the path we're headed down? How dangerous and deleterious and ridiculous... It's like we're all a bunch of elementary school students and we need the Rockefellers and the oligarchs and the Rothschilds to tell us what to do next, how to live. You're going to eat these bugs. You're going to, you know, do everything we tell you or you're going to be starved to death. So it's basically the purge and the hunger games are documentaries basically isn't that dystopian as fuck but it's true it's true almost every horror movie that has to do with ridding you know getting rid of like mass amounts of people is pretty much a documentary because 
we're the prey and we're being hunted and we're being mocked and insulted daily. I saw footage. Um, I wonder if I can find it. Um, of. I don't necessarily love his shit, but this is good. Because he's a little sensational. You live in a dystopian Sodom and Gomorrah run by mentally ill people. Want proof? Check out the Barbie premiere. Oh my god. Oh, yeah. <laughs> wow, what was that? That was weird. Oh, just what fell down in my eye. I don't know. Oh my god, that was funny. And really terrifying and sad at the same time can american men please grow a set and stand up and be like bro we're done we're not embracing this culture like we need like huge swaths of masculine men saying that none of this is representative of reality and of real life I can't.